Hey again, folks. So, uh, short preamble tonight. Got my old Lizard Man uh, full face appliance here. Uh, it's latex. You saw me laying it in if you watched the old video. If you haven't, uh, check the little annotation below and you can go and watch that. Um, I'm going to paint it in much the same way as I painted the Bajoran appliance. You can hit the other annotation, you can see that one. Um, I'm going to use brushes, acrylics, and some of these little makeup wedges to uh, hopefully give it some nice texture. Um, my inspiration for the makeup on this one, I, I thought I was going to go kind of greens and yellows uh, on this on this appliance, but I think what I'm going to do instead is go kind of blue green and purples and reds. Um, so uh, I'll, I'll throw a few photos in here, um, but basically my inspirations are going to be um, like a, a blue collared lizard. I'm going to get kind of a, a nice um, kind of beige under throat. Uh, and then kind of a blue-green for the bulk of the rest of the head. Um, I'm going to get some spotting in like a chameleon has. Uh, and then I have this big green guy down at the bottom that I'm going to be referring back to for some striping. Um, so let's see how it turns out. I have no idea how this is actually going to turn out, but hopefully it's going to be something I'm happy with. Um, also, you're going to get a different vantage point tonight because I installed uh, a little camera bracket here in the overhang on my workbench. Um, the nice thing about having built this workbench myself is I kind of know how much I can mess with it before it starts coming apart. Um, and I hung the camera up here before and it seemed to stay. So uh, let's, uh, let's throw a few different camera angles into the time lapse tonight and see what it looks like. detailing randomly on the side that I didn't really think was going to work out. Um, I was watching uh, I was watching how all of these photos were looking on my computer as I was taking them and I was like, oh god, I don't know that the camera is actually going to like this at all. Uh, and then I switched to video mode and I got up nice and close on this appliance and man, uh, I think the camera likes it a lot. <laughs> and considering that this is the second uh, bit of prosthetic makeup I've ever painted and considering that I'm using acrylic and crappy brushes and I don't have an airbrush or anything to do the blending um, I think it turned out really really well there's so much texture and detail um, I didn't think it was gonna hold up under any kind of close-up but I think it actually works better in close-up 
than it does otherwise. So uh, I'm really happy with the result. I can't wait to spirit gum it to my face and actually see how it moves. Um, I don't, still don't know what I'm going to do with my hair. Um, I don't want to shell out for a bald cap, and I'm not sure I want to invest the time in actually making one. We'll see. We'll find out. Um, but thank you very much for watching. If you haven't watched the other workbench time lapse videos, uh, click here to go to the playlist and you can watch all of them. Uh, there are four of them by this point, um, which I think is the longest I've ever actually stuck with a video series. Um, and I'm going to keep making them because I'm having a lot of fun here. So thanks very much for stopping by. Bye.